yeah uh hi everyone my name is summer and let's get started with today's read code question and let me share my screen first this question is very interesting and it is marked as medium so yeah so question is a uh, 931 minimum falling path sum okay so basically we have given a 2d uh, vector okay and we have to find the sum of the elements from the each row till it reaches the last row and we have to find the minimum sum okay and there are three condition are given uh, condition as that are that like from the from the any row like from uh any row like for example if you are uh, you, if you are this element so either you can take this element or this element or this element suppose you are at 2 either you can take this one or this one you can't take this one so you can take either row plus row plus 1 comma uh, column or row plus 1 comma column minus 1 or row plus 1 comma column uh, plus 1 okay so these are the three condition given and uh, at the end we have to find the minimum sum okay so uh, like there are two approaches like here what we are doing is we are uh, checking uh, each uh, path one by one from the given uh, from the given element okay and we are uh, selecting some element or we are not taking some element so those kind of problem which uh, uh, which uh, which which consist of like option based like either you can take this one or you can't take this one this kind of problem we can follow the dp approach and inside the dp there are two uh, method to do to solve the question first is bottom up and top down so here the here the top down approach is consist of recursion and memorization so after solving the recursion and memorization uh, i solved it but i got a tle time limit exceed so here in this video i'm going to solve it using the bottom up approach so in the bottom up like we are not uh, using a recursion method we will take one 2d dp vector and we will follow some uh, condition and we will try to came to the conclusion so yeah let's get started with the approach like how can we get the minimum path sum okay so suppose we are given a uh, given input 2d vector here it is given uh 2 1 3 6 5 4 7 8 9 9 what i will do is i will create one uh 2d vector okay with the same size just wait yep now uh we know that we will start from the top okay so like either i can use this approach i can go i, I can start with the 2 i can start with the 1 or i can start with the 3 okay so initial 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 step would be like in my uh, new 2d uh, dp i will fill my first row with the same element as given in the given input okay now i am at the first row okay so here like now i am at the second row uh, first index here what i will do is i will add 6 with the minimum element uh, came from the first row okay so here which one is the minimum one is the minimum so i will add up so here answer is 7 and i have to also keep this condition i can take that row only or that column only which satisfy this condition so here i can take the column i can take the row which is this one row and uh, and the column would be either this one or this one i can't take this one okay similarly for this element like here 5 is the element so i will add up with the minimum which is the minimum from the top one is the minimum so i will update it as 6 okay for this element 4 is the element so i will add up one so here my updated value would be 5 so for the first row uh, second row my answer is 765 okay because i am optimally uh, finding the minimum element from the top for each row for the each element for the particular row now i am at last row 
and last row first element is seven. So which element should I add up with seven so that I can get the minimum path? So here seven six five is the updated value. So I can take six. Okay. So our answer is thirteen. Now the question is, you will think that yeah, five is also minimum. Like it is a minimum from the all the three elements. Why you can't take five? Because five is not satisfy our condition. Our condition is that either you can take this row or this row for this element. Okay. Uh, that's why my answer is thirteen for this element. Our uh, uh, I have eight. Now I will update it my eight by adding it with the minimum, which is the minimum. Yes, seven six five from seven six five five is the minimum. So our answer is thirteen, because it is satisfying the condition. For nine, which is minimum, five is minimum. So our answer is fourteen. So from the bottom row, which is the minimum element, thirteen is the minimum element. So we have to return thirteen. So this is the approach, uh, for this question, and the space complexity is order of m cross n. M is the row, n is the column. And time complexity is also m cross n because we are traversing each row one by one and satisfy the condition. Okay, so this is a complete approach. So let me start with the coding part. Yeah. So I will first find the number of rows and column and is equal to a dot size. Then I will initialize my two D vector. Yeah, now I will initialize my first row of the 2D vector with the initial value of the given input. After that, I will traversing from the second row. Yeah, so I will update it my uh, second row like this. If P of row column equals to I will first add my initial value which is A of row column plus I will find the minimum element from the above row okay so for that there are three elements so I have to find the minimum so uh, this is the syntax here uh dp of row minus one which is the above row and column this is the first element dp of row minus one maximum of zero comma column minus one this is the second element dp of row minus one minimum of n minus one n minus one comma call plus one this is the last element okay and after that i will create one uh, variable where i'm storing the minimum element so this is a syntax when element dp of n minus one dot begin dp of n minus one dot end and then simply return result 
here if you can see why i'm doing max or min so that uh, my column should not go out of bound here call minus 1 okay sometime it could be like uh, for example if i am at the first row and i am checking for the call minus 1 previous but there is no previous column so what i will do is i just simply uh, take the maximum which is either negative or zero so i am initializing my row column as zeroth column similarly for here minimum for example if my column is out of bound but i want the minimum from the given element only so i am taking n minus 1 if i am out of bound okay so my code got accepted let me submit it also it got submitted okay and time and as you can know the time complexity is order of m cross n and space is also same so this is the com this is the uh, question and it is comes under the dp and i hope you like this video and we'll see you in the next video guys bye